Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, hello, boys and girls. Uh, this is Mr. Lanigan with Hero Small School Academy. I'll be taking you through grade three mathematics, grade three mathematics, and we are going to be on page number 90, page nine zero of your grade three mathematics workbook. So please go ahead and turn over there. And we're going to be learning about how to add tenths. So the addition of tenths is what we're going to be learning about today. So if you remember from previous lessons, we learned about tenths, right? So let's talk about addition of tenths. Addition of tenths. 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 All right. So a tenth, if you remember, is written like this, which means on a number line, if you have point zero to point one, you divide between here into 10 places. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So each of those segments will be 0 0.1 or one over 10, two over 10, three over 10, four over 10, five over 10, six over 10, seven divided by 10, eight over 10, nine over 10, and 10 over 10, which is equal to one, all right. So, so the addition of tenths is gonna be simply like, you wanna say like one over 10 plus two over 10. Well, that can be written as 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2, right? And if you want to take it over to the place values, remember, you're going to have 0, 1, and make sure the decimal points just line up. That's the secret to it. So make sure it lines up. So 0, 2, this is going to be the tenths column. This is the unit column. And when you add it all together, what do you get? You're going to start from the right. So that's a three. One plus two is a three. Zero plus zero, that's going to be a zero. So 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2, that's going to give you 0 0.3. Or you can say one tenth plus two tenth will be equivalent to, guess what? One plus two equals three, and that is three over ten. That's another way you can do it. So different ways you can do it. All right. So um, I'm hoping you got something from there. Did you get something from it? Hopefully you did. All right. So you're welcome right now to go over to page number 90 on your workbook, in your workbook. Or rather, you're going to see uh, lots of exercises over there. And there's going to be a homework for you there as well that you can use to study. All right, that's what I've got for you today, boys and girls. Thanks for joining me. And remember to recite your morality creed. Um, and when I step step away from, from the screen, you're welcome to take a snapshot of the, of the worksheet on the board as well. Well, thank you for joining me once again. And remember, God cares, and so do we. Bye-bye. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Messiah who died and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sin. He is my Lord, Master, Boss, and Savior. I love God, I love myself, and I love others with the God kind of love. I believe the Bible is inspired by the Spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights, and wrongs. I look to the Spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent and I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. 
This is my morality creed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'll be your hero's body. And as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you 